Good morning, everyone. My name is Lieutenant Lehman, and it's my honor to welcome and congratulate each and every one of you. The fact that you're standing here today means that each of you have demonstrated that you possess the courage to answer your country's call to service and be one of the elite. Only 3% of the population in the United States have the opportunity to stand where you are now. For that, you have my gratitude. Go ahead and come at ease, relax for a moment. From this moment forward, you will gain a new family, one grander and bolder than anything you could have ever imagined. You will no longer be alone, no matter where you are, what you're doing, or the situation that you find yourself in. You will always have somebody there to support you, guide you, and give you the strength when you need it. Conversely, you will be called upon to provide those same things for those individuals you serve with, because that's what a family does. We support one another and we're there for each other, no matter what. A true embodiment of this is Danny Dietz Jr. His accommodation is on the wall across from this room, and if you have the opportunity, I encourage you to take the time and read it. While serving, he went to Afghanistan, and on a mission, was hit four times. He ended up losing the use of his legs while on mission, but he didn't give up. His teammates picked him up and carried him. While being carried, he continued to provide cover fire, comm support, and rallied his team. While literally being carried on the back of his comrades, he continued to motivate and inspire them. He ended up giving the ultimate sacrifice that day for the mission, but we have to acknowledge what it means and what sacrifice he truly gave, because there are gonna be days where you find out you can barely stand, your legs are cut out from underneath of you, and you have no idea how you're gonna go on, let alone show up the next day. But that's the job of the person next to you, to pick you up, dust you off, and carry you through. When you find yourself being carried, that does not mean you get a quit or give half-assed. You push, you continue to give everything you have. You always empty your tank, putting everything you have into every job, every task, every day. Because that's what we demand out of you. For those of you going to a combat role, we hope you're never in a position like Danny Deitch Jr. For those of you not in a combat role, never find yourself thinking that you don't matter or that you're inconsequential. Because every job, every task is essential. For Danny Deeds Jr.'s story to be the success it is, we have to acknowledge somebody had to write his orders, make sure that the transportation was accurate and timely, that the intelligence was gathered promptly and relayed correctly. We had to make sure that the organization for the supplies and equipment, that they were functioning properly and readily available. Any element of those categories fall apart, the whole mission is compromised. And that's not even to account for all the other support that they receive throughout the other communities. When you find yourself thinking, I don't matter, today doesn't count, this job's stupid, you need to squash it immediately. Because the person next to you is depending on you, and the person 3,000 miles away could be depending on you with their life. That is the requirement that we demand out of you. When you don't, when you don one of these uniforms, we expect you to give everything every day because we have to trust you like a family. In return, we make a promise. No matter where you are or what's going on, if it's a bad day at work, you'll have somebody there to support you. If you find yourself at the end of the day needing a shoulder to cry on, it'll be provided. If you find yourself in a situation that demands the entire might of the United States military to come to wear, we will do that because that is our promise in return to you. Go ahead and come back to the position of attention. Three questions I have to ask each of you. Have you read and do you understand the Department of Defense separation policy and the restrictions on personal conduct within the armed forces? Yes, yes sir. sir. Have each of you read and do you understand the Uniform Code of Military Justice, Articles 83, 85, and 86? Yes, yes sir. At this time, is there anyone who has any reservations about taking their own. No, sir. All right. I use the word swear. If you prefer, you may replace that with the word affirm. Also, at the end of the oath, I say, so help me God. If you'd rather, you may abstain from that line. <coughs> Attention to the oath of enlistment. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, the name of Lord. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend. 
to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of. And that I will obey the orders of. The President of the United States. The President of the United States. And the orders of. And the orders of. The officers appointed over me. The officers appointed over me. According to the regulations. According to the regulations. And the uniform code. And the uniform code. Of military justice. Of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. You can go ahead and relax. At this time, I always like to acknowledge those friends and family that have come to support you today. Because without your support, guidance, and mentorship, these young individuals would not be here today. And that would be our loss. As you have the opportunity to grow close to this family, we have the opportunity to grow closer to yours. Remember, the United States military has not always had this favorable support. So as you go out into the world and you're thanked for your service, meals bought for you, and drinks passed in your honor. Realize that this is a privilege and honor that we have earned, and now you bear that same responsibility. From this moment forward, no longer do you just represent those in this room, but you represent every person who has ever worn that uniform before you. Be cognizant of your actions, the words you speak, and the general demeanor in which you carry yourself. Because as the cliche goes, one bad apple ruins the bunch, don't let it be you. Honor the uniform that you are wearing. Give it the respect and dignity that it deserves. Again, welcome to each and every one of you. It's truly an honor to have you. Be smart and enjoy the career path you have chosen. But above all else, congratulations on this accomplishment.